So you've got a job coming up and you know you need at least one new tool for an operation that you don't have anything on the shop floor for. One of the options you have at your disposal for free at your fingertips would be checking out the Sandvik Cormont website and I'm going to walk you through that process right now. So here we are on the Sandvik Cormont website. We're going to click tools, digital machining, knowledge based and the Coro Plus tool guide. Of course if you want to drop your whole model in you can sign up for the machining guide beta. I've done another video for that. Let's go to the tool guide. You've got an option to do this right on your smartphone, but let's say you're at a PC like I am tonight. I'm going to click work online. It's always up to date. We're looking for a tool today. First step is pick your type of component, non-rotating or symmetrical rotating. We're going to go non-rotating. Now you're going to have a bevy of options, whether it's profile surface, hole, plain shoulder, pocket, slot, thread. Let's go for pocket today. And we're going to do a rectangular pocket in solid material. Now you could do from a start hole which is a great method today we're going to go from solid and then it's already auto selected mile steel if that works for you great however just like anywhere on the sandvik site you can type in the material grade specifically i'm doing some 316 and then here you're going to change the features depth is 100 millimeters notice that they'll give you a highlight here for what they're looking for to ensure there's no misunderstanding width 50 millimeters length 200 millimeters general radius in the corner let's see that's 13 mil now there's a bunch of other information you can put in but it's not required you can turn on or off dynamic milling you can put in your arc angle and then if you have a tool size you have in mind you could pop that in here and then if you had a minimum depth of cut in your mind i leave that blank so it'll recommend the best solution and i don't get stuck in my own programming methodology after you click get results it's going to show you your options in this case it's recommended a 316 with an adapter these are a fantastic option especially for long reach when you've got that narrow width but a decent depth to hit these are a great tool to reach down low here behind my head you have other options and they're going to have a percentage that percentage is actually cost so they break down the cost even though you may have a preference they'll let you know okay you can do this but we estimate it's going to cost x so they offer their solid plura which are a low cost tool if you get what I mean. Their productivity and their tool life is pretty phenomenal with the way they designed the Plura mill. But that's your basic selection. Now you could always switch it. We could switch it here, click, boom, Plura. It's gonna give us all the updated. Here's our cutting diameter. Here's our depth of cut maximum. Here's our tool life. It's saying 7.6 pockets before it fails. Here's our machining time, 46 minutes, 48 seconds. And it's gonna give you rough cutting parameters as well as your feed per two. So let's go back up. You can see here again, depth of cut is smaller. Tool life is a little bit lower, but the cost of just the solid head instead of an entire solid end mill is much lower. After that, you can click download a PDF. When you click download, I'm gonna auto populate. There we go, my address details. And then you can pick whether you want short, detailed, and it just kind of changes what's already selected. I like the detailed report. Do a little dance. And when you're done, you'll see that it downloads automatically. After this, you can open it up. It'll say pre-machining. This is not a finishing machining operation. It'll go over your tool spindle power diagram. You can always limit the max RPM of the machine and that will affect the tool recommendations that you get from Sandvik. Thanks for taking a quick tour of the Sandvik site to check out how you can specify and check out available tooling so you can grab a quick solution to whatever new feature may be coming into the shop. Until next time, keep your spindles turning and earning.